Order of operations. Now, we have these different operations, and we need to know which order to do them in. As it turns out, exponents is the highest order of this, and so we are going to do exponents first. We know that 4 squared can be rewritten as 4 times 4. And then here, we now have a base of 4 and a coefficient of 4, so that tells us that we're going to have 4 4s added together. So, going through this, we can see that we start with exponents, and then any exponent can be rewritten as a multiplication problem, and I'm going to throw a division in there as well since they're close cousins. And then any multiplication problem can be rewritten as an addition problem. I'm going to write in subtraction as well, because addition and subtraction hold the same precedence, and so do multiplication and division. In summary, what we're basically saying here is that we're going to start with exponents because, as I did in this example, exponents are really just multiplication. So if we do the exponents first, we're translating them to multiplication. And if we do the multiplication next, we're then translating that multiplication into addition, which is the most fundamental form of counting that we know. Now, there's one thing that we need to add to this. And that thing is going to be grouping because sometimes we want to do this in a different order. Grouping allows us to change up the order in whichever way we see fit. So let's look at a word problem that allows us to um, you know, see an instance of where this would make sense. So we have three friends and they're each going to get a hamburger for $5. They're going to get some fries that costs three dollars and they're going to get a drink and that's going to be another two dollars. So clearly each meal is going to work out to be five dollars plus three dollars plus two dollars. Burger plus fries plus drink. Now since there are three friends we know we're going to need three of these meals but based off our order of operations here when we try to get three of those groups, we're only going to get three of the fives. Well, that's no good because I don't want just three burgers. I want three burgers, three fries, and three drinks. So this is where grouping comes in. We can use parentheses to wrap up that meal and ensure that we add up the total for that meal first. In which case, now we'll get three meals, and each meal will be $10, five plus three plus two, for a total of $30 for all three friends to eat their meal.